Alright, what's up guys, and welcome to another episode from, of course, me, the Scarander. And yes, today we got ourselves, of course, part 3 in this struggle that is Smogon, I was gonna say, but I don't mean necessarily Smogon. But um, the struggle that is this, uh, after getting matches, obviously. <laughs> hope everybody's, hope everybody's well. Everything seems to be going well here, at least. And we are right now in our, I believe, 1280? So, we're doing fairly well. Of course, we want to hit that 1500s eventually. But that will require me to be a bit better with this team. And obviously, I have find some issues. And the biggest one actually being that I am not packing, packing a fairy move. Packing. Picking. Packing. Packing a fairy move. Um, Scraft is super annoying. So goes for Ambipom to some extent, actually. Ambipom has find a very, very nice niche of its speed here. It's not necessarily strong. But... Um, the thing is, it keeps my team at bay because of me, my team being slower. Now, Bomb Snow kind of solved that issue with Ice Shard and whatnot. But I still, I won't deny the very fact that is that we struggle here. Hopefully, though, is not gonna be too bad. I believe, or I hope. Nice is making showdown sessions, and wow, the weights. Their weight right now is tremendous. There we go, finally! That took long enough. So right, this is probably a close to the ideal team that I've been suspecting. Now, Smeagol is a very very nice lead for him. Uh, we need to break that Sash by going for an Ice Shot as well. So that's... I have to do that play. Even though it brings Steelix, I still kind of have to work around myself with that in mind. I hate you so much right now. Oof, that sucked. Seismic Toad? I, I don't know. Like I said, there, I had to do something like that. He got momentum he needed. Uh, superpower. I wonder, is that Bandit? No matter. Um, what comes in now is most likely Slow King. I'm gonna go for Rocks. Or Smurgle. Scrotum. Alright. So the Rocks are probably here to stay, though. So we break the Sash. By default, um, you want a willow, I believe. <sighs> These situations are never favorable. Yeah, import. Hope for the best. Trick. All right, so scarf, scarf. That was probably one of the worst plays you could make there. Um, I feel for him though. I really do. <sighs> It's gonna bring Slow King. Uh, he, he is locked into Trick, so he has to switch out. Like there is no ramification here. Um, I believe Slow King is coming. Uh, he kind of has to make that play. All right. He actually could switch. I, I'm obviously an idiot. Um, bring Slow King, please. If you bring Steelix, I'm gonna look awful for my viewers. And. That was probably one of the worst over predictions I could make if that was the case. King! No, Smurgle. Ah, shit. While it does kill it. Oh, it's gonna break Steelix now. Ah, shit. He got me here. Can I got me? I'm just saying. That was a very, very bad play. Holy moly. Was that awful. I would much rather have had uh, Shit. This is gonna be tough. I would have preferred um, him switching to Slow King. Because I'm locked into this. He's gonna get his rocks up. There's no way we can avoid that off. Um, Seismitoad still is fair going in here. So it's kind of Slow King because I don't resist both his moves but can't you know, deal with him. Rocks, rocks, rocks. EQ. Son of a bitch. We should outspeed though, right? Yeah. I was grow crit, of course. Of course we are. Um, of course we score a crit on that. Let's see now. Could get my free Mega Evolution off. Which would be all kinds of dandy. But I'm just forcing an Ember by doing so, so size me to what it is. Because it's dead by default no matter what. You can't switch that out. It won't leave the rock damage. 
I hope. Have been wrong before. Here we go. Like I said, they're most likely uh, the Rotom's gonna come in here. We don't like him. And we know it's Scarfs. Oh, damn you, Scrotum. But, I have two options. Oh, actually, Seismitoad Void off the Embor. I kinda wanna keep that thing alive. I don't mind Ront actually being Scarf to go through the trick. I do predict a Willow or Volt Switch. Leaf Storm would be very stupid. Or not stupid, but that would be a tough play to make. Um, if it does that, I'm gonna look awful. Do I really need this guy? I rather get momentum. Should I sack this for momentum? Such a good HP too. Yeah, I'm going for the momentum. <laughs> Shit. All right. Because he's locked into that now. So. Going for Earthquake has very few ramifications for me. He's gonna hate me for that, but honestly, that was the play I needed to make. Um, I needed to force him to that, so him losing special attack forced him out since it was Scarfed. And Earthquake was the um, safest play for me to make. Um, Alright, he forfeited. Alright, he left. Wow, all these people are so salty after the lose. Well, not salty, but obviously they like run away directly. Um, there's no... he shouldn't be too mad about that play, I would have made the same call. And that was sucks, because the two plays he had to make was either Trick, which would have made it his Rotom a little more flexible, or he could overleave Storm, killing Seismic Toad, getting me a free switching, or um, he could have just gone for Willow, which have made him toxic. I would have been in a very nice situation. So, I don't blame him for that play. I don't. It just the outcome was very wide open for me. I could have used Seismitoad as that. As for that opening, he was not going to win the matchup against Rotom as he was locked into it. But that's how it is sometimes. It's... Let's see... Why does it take more time than it definitely needs to? Like I said guys, this is the last session. If you guys actually like these sessions, make sure to actually, you know, tell me that down below on the comments. This is something you want to see in the future. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot. I mean, I'm sitting an hour recording this. So, it's been a very, very nice... Nice time, if anything. So, um, yeah, I really want to battle somebody now. The fuck? There we go. Ah, look at this! Look at this! This is how we're gonna lose! Look at that! Um, thing is though, what do we lead off with? I'm seeing Durant as being very, very sustainable here. Um, I could spam Flare Blitz outside of Tarantrum. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, there's the Golden Lux. That thing is gonna set up rocks, and we're just gonna deal with that. And Honklaw. Oh, he switched out. Alright, he, he did not like that. Um, Arn headed this. He's gonna spore me. Um, we should still hurt him. Yeah, there we go. Don't have hidden power. Yeah, we're switching out, right? We are asleep. Just gonna, should I risk that? Should I really risk that and take him out with a superpower? I'm still asleep no matter what. Do it! Ah! Ha 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 ha! Screw you! <laughs> Damn you, spoilers!
like drumstick. So he's either scarfed or a fake out set. I'm just gonna have that to find out, really. Mac punch. That was interesting. That's not gonna help. Alright, Glalie. And Glalie's not faster. Clearly is not faster. Clearly is certainly not. Oh, Ice Shard, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he's not liking this one bit. That's uh, right. <laughs> he forfeited. <laughs> oh, dear God. Alright, this team is definitely very, very sustainable for that kind of uh, matchups. Uh, that's why people you don't have an obvious lead. If you can't work around it, it's gonna hurt you badly. Uh, now, sadly, that will do for this episode. Um, because I don't think I can record another battle, sadly. I have to actually go to work. But if you guys like this, I'll definitely keep going for it. And I'll s if that's the case, then you it's gonna be an episode 4 depending on how the first episode will go. So, um, with all that, my guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye.